Hi guys, it's me, Jacqueline. I'm back again. So today I thought I would show you how to make these adorable ears for Disneyland. So I have to like go down here so you can see them. And summer is coming, or summer is already here actually. Since summer is here, there will be a lot of summery activities that you can do during the summer, like go to theme parks, mostly Disneyland. So I thought it would be fun to make some Disney ears or Minnie Mouse ears to be exact so you could stand out from the crowd and have something that's unique that you can tell people when they ask you where you got them from. You can tell them that you made them and you'll feel really cool about yourself. So I'm going to show you how to make these cute Minnie Mouse ears and feel free to do them whatever color you like and whatever style you like. I just wanted mine super girly because I have a pink outfit that I am ready to wear to Disneyland whenever I get to go. So I thought that these would match and since it's a diamond anniversary, I said that really weird, anniversary. <laughs> since it's a diamond anniversary, I decided to put rhinestones on it to give it a little bit of a sparkle. And let's just get into the video. So you will need some decorations for your ears. I just got some paper flowers and some little buttons and diamonds and pearls. You can pick whatever you like and whatever color you like for your ears. I also got some puppy paint and then some ribbon just to match your ears. This is for the bow in the middle. And I got pink. And I got some headbands from the bridal section and some foam with adhesive backing so it can stick together without using hot glue. But of course you do need a hot glue gun to glue all of your little decorations on. So first take your foam piece and turn it over. Get a cup or something of your choice that fits the ear circumference and just draw a circle around there. I got this little tin from Target, so it was great, and it was the perfect size for the ears, and this is just me drawing the little circle around in fast motion. Is that the word for it? Then after that, you do a second circle right above your first circle, and just trace it around. Just leave a little gap in between so you can make a little rectangle, which will help you fold the ears over. So here I am drawing the rectangle connecting both circles so when you cut it out it will fold together nicely around the headband. So you just cut the circles out, your little ears, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Here's me cutting it real fast like a superhero. And it's pretty easy to cut through foam so you don't need any crazy tools. So once that's finished, you have your one little ear and you just use this as the template to trace your next one over. I'm just testing to see that it folds properly. So here you are again, just tracing it onto the other part of the paper that you have left over and using this as a template. Just draw around and you'll have another ear. So here are both of my ears that I have and I'm just folding them to make sure that they kind of match up. If they don't, it's fine. You can cut off the excess. So you just place them on your headbands with the adhesive backing still on so you can see where you want them to be placed. So this is fun. So just peel off the adhesive backing and be careful. This stuff's really sticky and once it sticks to something, it is stuck pretty much. So here I just wrapped it around the headband, smooshed it together, and cut off any excess that was showing, and kind of rounded it a little bit to perfect it. Both of them are stuck on tight. Make sure the bottom is stuck to the headband, and it was great. So now you just take your little decorations, this is the fun part, and place them onto your ears, and just experiment with where you want everything to be placed before you actually commit to it and put all of them on with hot glue gun. And here is the finished product. This took me a good 30 minutes to do. Uh, it was really fun to make and really soothing actually. And now for the bow, you just take your ribbon and cut a strip of it as wide as you want, depending on the ribbon size that you got. This one had a wire in it, it was a little hard to cut. So yeah, this is really hard to do, this narrating thing. <laughs> and then you just Fold it together and hot glue the open ends together so it is one whole piece. 
like this and then you scrunch it together in the middle and secure it with another tiny little piece of ribbon like that to make the bow. So cute. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned something new and are going to try these Disneyland Minnie Mouse ears. And if you do, don't forget to tag me in your photos with T with Jackie P. I'm going to try not to do the hashtag, but I did anyway. Feel free to tag me. I really want to see what the designs are that you come up with. And I want to see how well these work out for you. These are a little bit more time consuming, but it's summer. You don't have school, maybe you don't have a job, you got the whole day to craft it up. But thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you like me. Uh, sometimes people don't and that's okay, I understand. Feel free to like this video and subscribe only if you like what you see on my channel because then these videos would be no fun for you if you didn't like what you saw. Thanks for watching, bye! There was a hair on my arm and it felt like a spider. That was a little frightening. So hot in my house right now. Like the sun's not even out and I don't know, Let me. I'm gonna check what the weather is right now. I need to open a window or something because I'm freaking out right now. It says it's 81. That is a lie. It is literally like 93 at least in my house and it's like muggy. I can't even breathe. <laughs> my tripod that I have had for uh, not even like three months, it was really, really cheap. I got from Target. Every time I filmed something or used it, one piece broke off. Now my camera is propped up on a suitcase with a stool and a flower pot and an Ipsy glam bag. <laughs> and it just looks really weird and very unstable and I'm a little scared. Don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss out on that or you could just forget about my channel and then remember. Oh, that one weird girl. Uh, what was her name? Oh, and then find it on YouTube. But yeah, weird, like, my face in here. How am I supposed to get a screenshot of this if my freaking whole head doesn't fit in the shot and I look like hunchback in Notre Dame right now? Sanctuary. Oh, they say in that movie. By the way, this is a blanket.